Hi guys, this is Mr. Rego. Um, we're gonna find the surface area of this ice cream cone. Okay, surface area all around it, including the top. It's like, what kind of paper, or how much paper they use to cover the whole ice cream cone? How do we solve this? So let's start by uh, writing our surface area for a cone. So it's gonna be base plus pi r, and we're gonna go this uh, squiggly L okay so B is the base what base is the base from the top so let me get some red I guess the base if I cut if I make a transversal cut what kind of shape do I get if you notice I'm getting a circle that's what they mean by the base so that base is gonna be the area of that transversal of that cut which in this case is the area of the circle and the area of the circle is pi times radius times square okay so I'm gonna replace the b by pi r square plus the next one is pi r l that is gonna be all around the cone that's the surface area of all around the cone not the top just the paper like the, the like all this label but around the cone so it's gonna be pi r which is your radius times the l and that l is this your slant height which is the diagonal from the top of the cone all the way to the edge of the cone that's called slant height okay now in our case, that slant high is equal to a centimeters. My radius is not that really clear, but this is your radius. That six is showing you the radius. Okay, so I have my L, I have my radius, plug it in. Pi radius is six square plus pi times radius, which is six, times my slant height, which is eight. All right, I plug it in and whatever I get. So that my first part will be, let's replace pi times six squared is gonna give me 36 plus, let's finish this. 36 times pi is gonna give me 113. Let's keep out this to two decimals places. So it's 90, actually let's two point more, 0 0.97. All right, we'll run that in a minute. So it's 113, 113.097 plus, 6 times 8 is 48, so it's going to give me 48 times pi, and 48 times pi gives me, my calculator is going to give me 150.796. I'm using three decimal places, I'm keeping all those numbers in the calculator, and then I'm going to add that to the 113.097, and that's going to give me a 263. 0.8934 whatever okay the idea is most times they're gonna ask you to run to the hundredth so I need two decimal places okay so that's gonna give me 263.89 but if they want me to run it to the tenth which is only one decimal place I look at the next value and this is gonna round to 263.9 my units are centimeters because this is surface area area is to the second power so it's going to be centimeters to the second power and that's it for a cone thank you very much